हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू इल्यूम बायोलॉजी नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मोनो सेक्राइट्स इट्स जस्ट अ स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट टू यू टू प्लीज गो थ्रू द लास्ट वीडियो इन विच वी डिस्कस अबाउट कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इन दैट वीडियो आई यूज द वर्ड आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट अ मोनो सेक्राइट्स ऑलिगो सेक्राइट्स एंड पॉली सेक्राइट्स सो बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस डू वॉच दैट वीडियो टू गेट योर कंसेप्ट क्लियर अबाउट मोनो सेक्राइट्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोनो सेक्राइट्स इन डिटेल so as i told you in the last video that monosaccharides are the simplest carbohydrates and are the building blocks for oligosaccharides and polysaccharides plus they cannot be further hydrolyzed because they are the simplest forms now this was the general formula for the carbohydrates as we studied in the last video but for monosaccharides this x and y are equal to each other that means they would be having the same number so the formula becomes like this in some books you might also find this written in this way so this is one and the same thing now again every compound that follows this formula is not a monosaccharide let's say for example lactic acid now lactic acid the formula is c3h6o3 it is fitting into this general formula but lactic acid is not a monosaccharide plus all monosaccharides do not fit into this formula like ramnose and deoxyribose ramnose is c6h12o5 and deoxyribose is c5h10o4 now why ramnose is not fitting into this formula because it is o5 it should have been o6 to fit into this formula so it is not necessary that all monosaccharides will fit into this formula now classification of monosaccharides see basically monosaccharides are of two types aldose and ketose now as the name suggest see first of all i'll tell you about os see this is a suffix for sugar os is a suffix used for sugar that's why in every monosaccharide or disaccharide that is a sugar you will find the suffix os like glucose fructose galactose mannose heptose so that's why they use this uh, suffix os now if the sugar molecule has an aldehyde group then it is called as an aldose now this is an aldehyde group every sugar that has this aldehyde group is an aldose sugar and if the sugar molecule has this carbonyl group that is ketonic group then it is a ketose sugar let's take some examples this is this sugar called as glucose and it has an aldehyde group so it is an aldose sugar look at this example now this is the carbonyl group present in this chemical structure that's why this is a ketose sugar so the first one is glucose and the other one is fructose now both glucose and fructose if you see the chemical formula then it is c6h12o6 for both they both have the same chemical formula c6h12o6 but they have got different functional groups that's why they have got different chemical and physical properties plus they are isomers of each other glucose and fructose are isomers of each other because they have the same chemical formula now there is a question for you you have to tell me that what type of isomerism is this come into the comment section and do tell us about this type of iso marism now the main classification of monosaccharides it is based on the number of carbon atoms see if there are three carbon atoms then such a monosaccharide is called as a triose tri is three ose is for sugar if there are four carbon atoms then it would be named as tetrose tetra means four if there are five carbon atoms i'll call it as pentose pent means five if there are six carbon atoms it would be called as hexose hex is for six and if there are seven carbon atoms then i will call it as heptose hept is for seven so this is the basic classification and now i'll take each one of them one by one with the their examples the first is triose that is three carbon monosaccharides the formula would be c3 h6 o3 now you have to remember this general formula c dot h2o n 
for triodes is n is 3 so triodes formula would be c3 h6o3 if it is a tetros n is 4 so it becomes c4 h8 o4 and it goes like this so the tri for the triodes the chemical formula is c3 h6 o3 now this is the basic structure first of all calculate the number of carbon atoms 1 2 3 that means it is a triose plus there is an aldehyde group so it is an aldose sugar it is an example of aldose sugar and this is the example of glyceraldehyde this is the example of glyceraldehyde and the, the name itself suggests that it is an aldehyde this is the second example as you can clearly see there is a carbonyl group keto group in this so it is an example of ketose sugar and this is dihydroxy acetone now these two names are familiar for those students who have already studied about glycolysis because both these triose sugar are an integral part of glycolysis fructose 1 6 diphosphate splits into two trioses that is glycerol di 3 phosphate and dihydroxy acetone Phosphate. So these are the two examples that you study in glycolysis. Now the next is tetros that is 4 carbon monosaccharide. The formula is C4H84O4 obviously. And the examples are the first example is erythrose. As you can clearly see the functional group is aldehyde. So it is an aldose. Next is threose. The functional group is CHO aldehyde. So it is an aldose. The next is erythrolose the functional group is keto group so it is a ketose sugar see this is very simple very simple just follow the basics now both all these three erythrose threose and erythrolose all of them have the same chemical formula c4h8o4 so these all are isomers of each other this is a special type of isomerism which i will discuss in the next video but today in the comment section you will have to tell me about the type of isomerism that they are showing next is pentose sugar that is 5 carbon sugar the formula obviously is c5h10o5 and the first example is arabinose clearly it is an aldose sugar the second example is xylose again an aldose sugar the third example is ribose again an aldose sugar and the fourth example is deoxyribose now see this is also an aldose sugar there is no doubt in this now ribose sugar ribose sugar is that sugar which is present in ribonucleic acid that is your RNA and that is the reason why RNA is called as ribonucleic acid because there is the presence of ribose sugar in this similarly dna contains deoxyribose sugar that's why it is called as deoxyribonucleic acid dna but there is a simple difference a single difference between ribose and deoxyribose and that difference is the presence of this oh group on the ribose see on this carbon atom there is alcoholic group but in deoxyribose there is no alcohol there is only hydrogen that's why if the chemical formula for ribose is c5h10o5 but instead of oh there is only h so the chemical formula of deoxyribose becomes c5h10o4 because there is one oxygen less so ribose and deoxyribose are not isomers because they have got different chemical formula and, and that's why the name is deoxyribose because this word deoxy means removal of oxygen that's why it is called as deoxyribose so this is the main difference again in the RNA and DNA that is the pentose sugar which they are made up of now the common thing between all these four sugars that is arabinose, xylose, ribose and deoxyribose is the presence of an aldehyde group all of them are made up of aldehyde group so they all are aldose sugar and commonly if they there is a single term for each one of them and that is aldopentose aldo 
pentose a pentose sugar with an aldehyde group is called as aldo pentose so these four are the examples for aldo pentose sugar now we discussed about the aldo pentose let's discuss now about the keto pentose that is a pentose sugar with a keto nick group see these are the examples of keto pentose the first one is xylulose and the second one is ribulose you can clearly see the presence of ketone group in this so these are examples of keto pentose now the next is hexose that is six carbon monosaccharides and this is the most important group because it includes those sugars which will have to study a lot in biology so the examples include the first and the most important example is glucose and aldose sugar remember glucose is an aldose sugar the next one is galactose again an aldose sugar cho group is very clearly visible on the top and the third one is mannose sugar another example of aldose so the basic word used for all of them is keto sorry aldo hexose because they are hexoses with aldehyde group there is one more question for you in case you know see i told you about many examples in all these structures we are following a same pattern that we are drawing this these structures like this we draw a vertical line and on this vertical line we show different horizontal lines and that's how we are representing their structures what is the this type of projections of uh, these uh, molecules called as you have to tell me about this this is a peculiar type of arrangement that we are showing by these structures and there is a name for it you have to tell me about the name now the uh, in the last slide we studied about the aldo hexoses now let's talk about keto hexoses and the most important example of keto hexoses is the sugar fructose because it contains ketonic group and that's the main difference between glucose and fructose the last group is heptose that is seven carbon monosaccharides c7h14o7 and the example includes acetoheptulose and glucoheptose the difference between the two is the presence of ketone group in acetoheptulose and aldehyde group in glucoheptose so glucoheptose is an aldose sugar thanks a lot for watching us thanks a lot for connecting with us be with us in the next video because in the next video we are discussing about the stereoisomerism in monosaccharides and that is a very important topic that's because it is in biology it is in chemistry and it is important for both neat as well as for the iit preparation thanks a lot for watching us stay connected with us